Hi there, Diane at Cheap Street Gallery here. This is part two of making our pineapple as a gift for somebody. Um, I did it for the holidays because it's close to Christmas. Uh, but again, this is a gift that you can give any time of the year because that's completely your choice. So I will take you through the uh, initial steps on how to do this at the first part, part one of this. Uh, and I have to, sorry, I couldn't continue the video, so this is the, the official part two. So we got it, the champagne bottle with the brown wrapping paper to this stage, okay? And now the finished product that we have is, sorry for that quick flip there, but there it is there, okay? And that lighting is a little bit grainy, but let me just see if I can better position that. Okay, so here it is. So it really does resemble like a pineapple and uh, it's a lovely thing. It's colorful. It's done by the heart. It's a very simple gift. So I'll take you through the materials to get it to that stage. Okay? Everybody should have one and if you don't I highly recommend them because if you do any art or crafting the glue gun is one of your favorite friends. This is actually um, an old tile that I have, a bathroom tile, and as you can see it's well used, well loved. That's what I rest it instead of on my table. A pair of scissors because we're going to be cutting, uh, cutting the paper at the end of it. I will explain the pile of glue string there. Uh, anybody who is familiar with using a glue gun knows you get strings at the end. For safety reasons, uh, personally and honestly, I don't use it, but there is a container of cold water. If you burn your fingers with a hot glue, that's a good thing. If you stick it into the cold water, the glue and the pain go away pretty quickly. Okay, so let's move to this side of the table. The pile of scrap paper that I've been cutting after I finished gluing all the Hershey Kisses on because I cut it roughly, and I mean roughly, into leaf shapes. There's a certain freedom about this. This is, there's no rules here. See, some of it's not even even, and there's a good reason for that. Nature isn't perfect, so this, you don't have to be with this project. Any of my projects that I do, there is no perfection involved. It's the thought that counts, it's handmade, and you're just trying to do a really good job. That's all. You can see in between, there's brown paper that's exposed. Um, you know, I try to go as tight as I can, but it's not always easy with the paper. Have the ability to forgive yourself, <laughs> you know. It's, it's, again, it's a gift. It's just the thought that counts. The tag itself here, let me see, there we go. I literally cut that tag from one of the pieces of scrap paper. And this is a ribbon that I have because I have a whole box of ribbon. I'll walk you over here. I keep them in bags. I have bags of ribbon. I have different sizes. It's an entire box of ribbon. I'm sorry about that lighting. It's kind of because it's bright outside. So I always have ribbon that I can find. And then I used... Uh, I have a bucket here of markers. I buy them at the dollar store. You know, they're a whole variety of package. And I have different kinds. Like, I love these ones because you can see one end is a wider tip and then a thinner tip. So you get double purpose out of this, which is really nice and fun. And then I just have different kinds and different colors because I like variety. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning the camera around again. And here we go. The way that you start this is literally you take one, I start at the bottom, and you just start gluing them around. It took me about 15 minutes to get this one completely finished. And I just did, you know, I started with silver, green, red, and again, you just keep going around as you do it. It takes about three seconds for them to stick to the paper. You don't need a lot of glue, for sure, which is really kind of nice. So you get into a certain rhythm, and you can just keep going until you get up to the top. I stopped it, you know, somewhere around, like, the neck, you know, 
just at the top because the reason is is the the spines or the leaves whatever you want to call them the pineapple spines you're going to curl them down slightly anyway and that's just going to cover up the top you're not going to see it and that's where if you have a big blank spot at the top or because you ran out of Hershey Kisses or something, use a wider ribbon. I mean, use something else. Color it with a marker. Um, you know, nature isn't perfect. We don't have to be perfect with this. And you're just trying your best. And when you're done, it's, it's amazing how it looks good. Okay, let me get back to this pile of string that you get from it. As you're going around in a circle, and people will, who use, who are used to using a glue gun understand this, there's always that hot string that comes off. You can do a little twirly action and try and cut it off, but the point is you're going to be left with some strings hanging from your chocolate paper pineapple. Um, so at the end, I just went around um, when it was completely finished, and I just pulled off all the strings, and that happens to be the pile that I got. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to have to explain to people that, you know, that's what it is when you give it to them. But it does look a little cobwebby if you don't. So for appearances sake, and it doesn't take you long, that takes you seconds. Okay, and then it was just finished. So it's something that's personal. It's something that's handmade. It's from the heart. The total cost of this project for each of these is probably about 15 to $20. Okay, that would be the top end. It's going to depend on the kind of champagne that you buy. It's going to, or the bottle of liqueur. It could be uh, liqueur, liqueur, liquor. You could put anything inside. If you wanted to do, say, a bath, um, what do you, you know, what you put in your tub, like a, a soaking tub from the health and beauty department. Whatever you want for a bottle for that shape. Make your own liqueur and have a bottle and wrap that up and give that to somebody. The ideas are endless with this. And again, any holiday, birthday, Valentine's, it's kind of a sweet idea. So I'm going to switch the camera now and we are going to just go ahead. I'm going to show you those first fundamental steps of putting it on and then I'll leave it with you and wish you the best of luck with this. So let me see if I could do this. I'm going to put the camera down. I apologize if it's a really bad angle because I'm not a great editor with this. So I'll just keep bringing it up to the camera and hopefully we get a good picture of that. Okay, so I'm going to move the finished one out of the way for a second here. And again, I'm taking, this is how quick it is. I'm taking the Hershey. Oh yes, and I also used probably three glue sticks all together to get all of those on. It was approximately 65 chocolates for the first one. Okay, so that should give you a good idea. All you do is do one quick around. That's it. And you see what I mean? This twirly action will work. And then you literally just stick it on. And you see, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, it's already stuck. So you're on to the next one, okay? So that's a silver. This time I'll go silver, red, green. Last time I did silver, green, red. So I'm just fixing the Hershey Kiss. And again, I'm just doing one quick blob here. The twirly thing to get the string off. I should have done that on the first one a little bit more. And then you see, I'm holding it here. And that's done and then on to the next that's what I mean you're going to get into a rhythm it's very easy to do glue there is a string hanging from this one that's okay I'll pull that off later because you just kind of want to get at it and get into this and there you go I'm going to flip the camera one last time here so you can see how we're doing and how it looks when you start see there you go and there's the string that I'm talking about right here. Okay, these are what you're going to have to pull off later on. So you just pull it off and put it onto the table. Okay, there we go. So once again, uh, there's your finished product. 
15-20 minutes. You are going to cut these into sort of leafy-like shapes. Leave it plain if you want to. Again, some pineapples, especially really ripe ones, they do have um, brown kind of leaves. Just generally cut it into leaf shapes. Color it, don't color it. Color the paper before you start if you want. You can just do that whole outer edge. Massive colors, go crazy with whatever markers, crayons, crayons would work. And, uh, and then just when you're finished, tie it up, use your own tags, your own ri ribbon, and there you go. Merry Christmas, happy birthday, happy holidays. Please stay safe. And again, this is Diane from Cheap Street Gallery. Thank you for taking the time and sharing it with me and watching this. And I wish you all well, of course, with kindness. Take care. Bye-bye.